Although the real estate market on the lower mainland was expected to cool a little this year, it's only getting hotter in one part of town, and that's the subject of tonight's insight. Tony, you could call this the real estate version of West Side Story. Homes on the west side of Vancouver are hot properties in today's market, and once again it's a case of supply and demand. The number of west side homes now for sale is much lower than usual, but the demand is still high, and that is driving up prices. Brian Coxford reports. One half of a refurbished Shaughnessy mansion hours away from going on the market. The Queen slept here once, and both Winston Churchill and Theodore Roosevelt dined here. It'll be listed for $2.8 million and advertised in the Financial Post. But if the trend continues on Vancouver's west side, there will likely be multi-buyers, and they'll bid the price up. They're running around, there's not much out there, so you're seeing multiple bids on properties that are good. For instance, Lauren Goldman listed this duplex for $990,000, and eager buyers bid it up. It sold for $1.1 million. And the owner took an extra 110 grand in the deal, and it's happening everywhere on the west side. This house was on the market for just a week. The owners didn't even have time to have it open. And there were eight offers for the people coming with inspectors. The asking price, 969000 It was bidded up to $1.1 million, an increase of 131000 the reason for the bidding wars, supply is at a minimum. Just 476 listings on the west side this month. The 10-year average for homes on the market for February is double that. Buyers are getting aggressive. They're showing up at the open house with their own um, inspector so they can make a non-subject offer. You know, in a more traditional store market, you'd see subject to financing, subject to inspection. But the buyers know now that uh, if they want to get the property, they're going to have to come in with no subjects, no conditions.